Good morning everyone and welcome back. This time I thought we're gonna take you to check out how they harvest sugarcane here in the Philippines. We're gonna follow this crew for uh, up until their uh, breakfast break. This is an early Tuesday morning so it's still not that hot. They cut down the sugarcane by hand and then they put them in this kind of small bundles like we see here. As far as I understand it before they got paid by the bundle but uh, nowadays, or at least this time, they get paid by the ton. So they have to fill up the truck with a lot of sugarcane to get paid. The going rate for sugarcane on this uh, farm is 500 pesos per ton. So it's a lot of sugarcane to uh, feed a family. We have shown you some of the sugarcane trucks before in our older videos. They are usually very old. I can say this truck is not of the latest model either. Some of the trucks actually are uh, old uh, Second World War trucks that the Americans left here and they have been repurposed to uh, harvest uh, sugarcane or transport sugarcane. So they're getting ready for today's work. We have some people down there that's already started cutting. And soon they will start uh, loading up the truck. Here we get a closer look at when they cut it down. They cut it down, they clean it up and they put it in the small bundles. This type of sugarcane is really thin. There is apparently different kinds of uh, sugarcane. This one seems to be the thinner type and across the little road over to the right there is another type called the red sugar cane that is much uh, thicker or fatter as they call it here. So uh, apparently they use it for the same purpose to make sugar uh, no matter if it's uh, thin or if it is uh, fat as they say. Over there you can see the fat sugar cane uh, behind the truck now over there on the other side of the small dirt road there. So now they're preparing the truck to uh, load it up for uh, today's first haul. So here they have started to load up the truck. They pick up their bundles and they take it over to the truck. And uh, the guys on the truck are chopping it down to smaller pieces so they can fit more. If you meet one of these trucks on the street, it seems like uh, it is full of uh, whole stalks of sugarcane. But as far as I understand it, they always chop it up to uh, get more on and then they put the whole stalks on top to keep it down during uh, transport. If you are like me, you are probably wondering why there is one stalk standing right in the middle here. And uh, when asked about it, it is just uh, one of those things. So and there is no particular meaning or anything by that. They will chop it down later. It is just a thing they do. So imagine doing this job in the middle of the day when the sun is hammering down and there is no shade to be had. That must be a really hard job. And as I said, they get uh, 500 pesos per ton, and that is shared among all the workers. Sugarcane is actually more heavy than it looks like, because it is full of juice, sugarcane juice. In other countries like Singapore, sugarcane juice is uh, really popular, plus a refreshing drink. You drink it with just ice. Uh, some people want to have some lemon in it as well. They just press it and out comes uh, delicious sugarcane juice. I really enjoy it, but uh, by some reason it is not popular here in the Philippines at all. Uh, the closest thing I've got is to take a piece of sugarcane and uh, chew on the fibers to get the juice out and then spit out the fibers. Uh, you really need to have good teeth for that because the uh, sugarcane is pretty hard. In just a little while we will see them catch today's lunch, or if it's for dinner later tonight. Uh, apparently when they find the 
rats in the sugarcane fields or the rice fields, it is considered clean and uh, therefore appropriate to eat. I'm not sure, sure if I will uh, enjoy that dinner, but uh, that is how they do it here. So keep an eye on the guy to the left. There he is, that is trying to catch it. Where is it? Where is it? Do we have it? Yes, success. Lunch is served. So everybody is congratulating and uh, think it is a good catch. So uh, they are happy about it. I don't know what you guys think. Is that a proper thing for dinner for you? Uh, I am not so sure I would uh, enjoy it, but uh, what do they say? Don't bash anything until you tried it for the first time. We will get a close up here very soon. Just making sure it's dead first. So, uh, as I said, uh, rats in uh, the rice fields or in the sugarcane field is considered clean and it is appropriate to eating. So that will be cooked later today, perhaps at lunch or uh, at dinner back home. Here we have dinner is served. So when uh, lunch is sorted, it's time to continue work. So let's just enjoy their hard work from the comfort of our own homes. Perhaps we should check out the catch of the day one more time, so you guys don't miss out on what is for lunch or dinner today. As I said before, they are considered clean when they are found in the rice fields or in the sugarcane fields. I'm not sure I would like to eat it, but uh, who am I? So here is coming to pick up his uh, catch. I don't know if he's gonna cook it now for breakfast, but uh, anyway, it's time for a breakfast break now. While they are on a break, we're gonna get up on the truck and check out how the, it looks when the sugarcane is loaded. Let's go. Here we can see the truck. It's uh, For me, it would be almost full, but uh, knowing the Philippines, this is probably just uh, half full because they are really good in overloading the vehicles here. Anyway, it has been about 30 minutes in real life time to uh, fill this up. So uh, that gives you an uh, estimate about how long time it takes for them to fill it up. And you can see here they have uh, chopped it down into smaller pieces. So it really uh, fills out all of the truck. There is no uh, empty spaces. And this is uh, how they do it. And when they are done and they think it's full enough, they will put uh, whole stalks of sugarcane on top to keep all this in place during transport. Here we have the crew having breakfast. Uh, perhaps you have noted uh, there is no safety gear here. It is just flip-flops and regular shirts. No security gear at all. And those machetes are quite sharp, so you have to keep your toes and hands away from them. Uh, I've seen uh, people have a nice scars to show for themselves after working here. Here we have the red sugar cane on the other side of the road. It is a lot fatter than uh, the one we have uh, seen being harvested today. So I guess this is a good time to finish this video off. I hope you have enjoyed to see how they harvest sugarcane here in the Philippines. 
for me it was a new experience i have never seen this before and uh, it is not available in uh, sweden so uh, my viewers from sweden perhaps never seen it either either way please like and subscribe as usual and uh, i really hope to see you in the next video have a really nice day bye for now